Hello, welcome to the fourth lesson of C program. I am Shaji. In the previous videos, we have seen very basic program uh, to print a string in the first one and the second one we we have seen how to install download install and all develop C++ and in the third one we have seen how to get some numbers from the user and add the simple program to add two numbers in which we have used two functions one is scanf another one is printf So in this video we will do the same program but using different data types. So first of all we have to see what is data type. We will see it with the help of a program. So let me include stdio.h that is a standard header file for IO functions, input output functions, then include stdlib.h for using system and this is our main so previously we have used integer type for main let me save this program prg4.c here I am going to declare a variable a integer a one more variable integer b another variable integer sum in the previous program uh, we have received some values from the user the same thing we can try here to print f Enter a number so we can read the number here we have to give format specifier what type of data we are going to use so percentage d we are using because we are going to read an integer value and the value which is given by the user is being stored into the variable a. that's why we are specifying a in that place so we have to read one more number enter another number and the second number we will be reading it into b variable b and that also having the same data type so we are using percentage d there and let us calculate sum sum equal to a plus b The sum is so sum is calculated into the variable sum so the data type of sum is also integer so I'm going to specify percentage D there also and I'm going to give the value sum system pause I suppose it is done if there is no error it should work so 
so it is asking for entering a number I am going to enter a number 1 there was some system error let me run again 1 ok I found the problem actually it is an error from my program so here actually if you are using scanf we have to read the value and we have to store into the address location so we have to specify ampress and a if you give a directly then it will give problem to the system that's why it need to close so let me try it once again so there is no need of ampersand in front of the variables for the case of printf but in the case of scanf it is very much required enter a number 1 enter another number 2 the sum is 3 so now it is working so we had an error in the program so this is the way we will make errors and we will correct errors in our programs ok actually what I want to discuss in the video is there are different data types so integer is just one data type we have some more data types let me introduce all those data types one after another so the very first one is integer int if you want to use int then we can use percentage d or we can even use percentage i in the program in the case of scanf and printf so let me change it to i percentage i and let us try it some value and enter a number 12 enter another number 13 so the answer is 25 is working perfectly so in the case of integer variable you can either give percentage d or percentage i that's what it is given and there is another data type that is character data type C H A R char char data type and its format specifier is c Another data type we have that is float. If you are using float, <coughs> excuse me. If you are using float, percentage f is a format specifier used. And another one is double. If you are using double, then you can use the format specifier lf. Percentage lf. String is another type for printing. Actually, in C, there is no type called string but character an array of character we call it a string even in c so that can be specified with the help of percentage yes these are all different data types and of course obviously we have a question now why we need so much data types of course actually why we need uh, different data types it is because if it is integer in the 16 bit operating system if you are working the C in DOS operating system then the size is 16 size of the data type the maximum size of the data type is 16 that is the maximum limit so we have different number system usually actually in the computer system we are using hexadecimal numbers in hexadecimal number system one byte the maximum number of one byte is FF so if you want to get the exact value in decimal 255 that is the exact value in decimal if you want to see what is the binary one there will be so many ones totally there will be eight number of ones that is the maximum value minimum value will be 00, zero. zero's binary is zero, zero's hexadecimal is zero so one byte is the maximum value is EFF and if you see 255 so if you have a data type with one byte container capacity it can store only up to 255 characters here we have another detail here we have a data type called integer or short integer that is 2 byte k 
character is a data type with one byte if it is two bytes then we can see how it is going to come what is the maximum value and all so one byte it was one byte it was 2f and two byte it will be 4f if you convert it into decimal 65000 535 that will be the maximum value in the case of unsigned numbers unsigned numbers in the sense only positive values if you want to represent both positive as well negative then it will be this number divided by 2 and there won't be any fractions because we cannot represent fractions we can represent 32,767 numbers positive and 32,768 negative because 0 is also a positive number so totally we can save ff ff and convert it into decimal 65,535 this is applicable only in the case of 16 bit system if you are working with turbo c this is the case if you try to store a value more than this in an integer data type it will overflow the value you can see in the variable will be something different you cannot see the actual value which you have given into the variable okay in the case of character data type or char data type or small integer we can have minus 128 to 257 or 0 to 255 this many values this is the range or 0 to 255 we can use char data type usually used to store ascii values or even you can use it for storing numbers but if you want to represent characters uh, in the character format you have to use the access specifier you have to use the specifier percentage c so that it will be printed in ascii format okay let me have a char data type char data type sorry it should be in small letter c programming languages case sensitive enter a character and the format specifier is C I am going to save this value into C you have Entered percentage C, comma C. So the value will be stored in the variable C, and that we can print it here. And let me give a pause here, so that we can stop our program here. Okay, this part I don't want to execute for time being, so I am going to give exit. Let me try this. So after this the program will be working, we don't want to see the rest of the program because we have seen it already. Asking for a character, I'm going to press A. You have pressed A. The whichever character we are giving that is going to be printed. And you must have noticed rest of the program is not exe executed because we have exited the, the program successfully from here. Because we are not interested in running this code because we tried it already. So exit can be used to exit from the program. So what is this zero? integer data type is being ex expected when the main function is being exited so that time it will give a value so some value should be given usually actually we will give zero in the case of successful exiting 
the program if the program is done its job successfully and if it is exiting then the code will be zero otherwise some error code will be coming that may be used to debug the program okay this is what character data type is okay press a number okay i'll run it once again so that i can give some other character as input and you can see it Uh, enter a character I am giving B so being B is being printed okay let us have some fun here what will happen if I print this with percentage D execute compile and run asking for a character this time I am going to give C enter it is printing 99 it's very strange actually it should have been printed C but instead of that it is being printed 99 let me turn one try once again Yes, why it is printing so? The reason is very simple because here we have given the format specifier percentage D. Percentage D is saying the print up statement to print in number format or an integer format. So the value in C actually the value stored in C is 99. In the case if you are entering a value C. Uh, that means the ASCII value, ASCII in the sense American uh, standard code for information interchange. Uh, that is a standard code which is used in character representation in the computer system. So for each and every characters which, which are all represented on the screen, there will be an equivalent ASCII value for it. So the ASCII value for the character is being printed if you are giving percentage d let us try it once again and then we can give some other character previously we have given small c now we have given capital letter c and we are giving a different number and let me run again so if i give capital b 66 that means it is being printed in a different way so the actual value is the same but it is being printed in different way. This is what is the uh, format specifier. In what format you want to get it printed. That is what format specifier is. I suppose uh, this is enough for this video. Thank you for watching this video. I am Shaji. If you have any queries you can uh, write to me it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com bye